gonna go over linear lawn care. 2021 setup. Are you ready? Do the channel's called Linear. going on guys welcome to the 2021 setup so it's been either a raining a ton or b windy as all get out 20 plus mile per hour winds every day so i haven't been able to get my equipment out of the garage to do a setup video so you're just gonna have to pretty much have a walk through and uh, I will just tell you what I carry with me on a daily day-to-day -day basis. So let's get started, let's jump into this. We got some uh, pretty exciting news later on. So uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, thanks for watching. Think about hitting the subscribe button. Lots of great things coming this year. Lots of great content, plus lots and lots of uh, how to's. We're gonna switch the whole channel around this year. We're gonna do things totally different than we have the past couple years. And uh, we are gonna make it more informative per se, I guess. So, yeah. All right, so, so we have our mowers, our trimmers, we'll go over, uh, let's go over the trimmers first, I guess, and then we'll get to the mowers, go over the, the blowers. Uh, these three trimmers are usually the three trimmers I take with me on a daily, day to day basis. So this is the Red Max 260S, uh, actually it's the 260TS, the torque model. This is probably, honestly, my favorite uh, go-to as of right now. I use this most all of last season. If you go back, look at the beginning of the season when I bought this thing, it does have some cons that I just totally had to get used to, but uh, it, it's still kind of weird. So you just have to watch the review video of that. Then we've got a review video coming out of this. I uh, got to use this for majority of the year as well. This is the Echo 2320T, uh, the new model. So this is pretty much like a 225 with a torque head on it. And it's a totally different trimmer. If you like the 225, you'll love the 2320T. We'll have a review of this. It's gonna be on Echo Means Business uh, YouTube channel. So go check that out, subscribe to them because there's a lot of great content on their channel as well. Next we have the Echo 2620T. Uh, this is a awesome trimmer. I really do love this trimmer. This trimmer is one of the trimmers that you can grab straight off the trailer, property to property, pull it one time and it's going to start on you and get you through anything and everything you need to. Plus, it really does take on a lot of the uh, more heavy stuff than I would expect a 25cc trimmer to do without pretty much bogging down. Then we've got the uh, Echo 3020. Now we did a review against this and the 111R. I've got the 111R in the floor over here. Uh, cleaned it up, but uh, we did a review on it. It's on Echo Means Business's uh, YouTube channel as well. I think it's honestly on mine also. So you can go check that out. See what the difference is. If you're debating between the 111R and the 3020, go check that out. Then we've got the 3020T. Uh, this is another great trimmer that I did a review on and we put it through stuff that was, I mean, literally this stuff was probably the size of my thumb that it was cutting down. Totally, totally beast mode. So uh, the three trimmers I carry with me, the Red Max BCZ 260TS, the Echo 2320T, and the Echo uh, 2620T. So moving on down here, we've got the uh, 266. This is the PE266S. This is the straight edger. I didn't want the curved shaft edger, so I bought this edger, I think it was three or four years ago. Uh, I bought this and I've absolutely loved this edger ever since. I put a, I put a uh, golden edge blade on it watch that video because this thing will sling some stuff but i put a golden edge video on it or a golden edge video a golden edge blade on it and it's been great ever since next up we've got the uh, pas this is the pas 280 system I, i'm kind of sad they took the t 280 away <coughs> and didn't bring a 
like a higher 3020 or something PAS system. Uh, now they only have the PAS uh, 225 and the PAS 2620. Now I've not used the 2620 PAS to tell you whether or not it's powerful. Uh, I can tell you that this is a 28cc PAS system and I absolutely love it. I will probably never get rid of it because I feel the power and everything that it puts out is honestly great. Uh, let's move on down a little bit, show you the blowers, and then we will move to pretty much the mowers. All right guys, moving on down, moving on over, we got the Echo PB, the 8010 blower, uh, and then we've got the Echo, this is the 9010. So uh, there are a couple differences. I've got videos on that showing the differences between both of them. Things of that nature from December. So not too far back, real easy to get to if you decide on something like that, you wanna know. Uh, we've also got the Echo uh, EA410 auger. Uh, I've got an Echo power washer. I've got an Echo pole saw. I've got, uh, I've got all kinds of other equipment, but this is pretty much just the stuff I carry, uh, the PB8010, uh, the Red Max trimmer, the Echo 2320T trimmer, the 2620T trimmer, really depends on the day of whether or not I'll grab the Red Max or the Echo. But, uh, you know, hey, let's get into the mowers and then we'll get you some exciting news. All right, moving on to the mowers. We have the 48 inch Toro Grandstand with the twills and the power chute. Now, uh, I will say, I will tell y'all all these discount codes at the end. I will just go over them with you. Uh, I do not get a kickback from PowerShoot whatsoever. It's just been a great product. So we have a discount code uh, for anybody who would like to get that. Twills, I got a review coming on. I've got the Twills on the Z Master as well that you'll notice. But I got to use these all last year and uh, I need to do a, a review of them because I've had a lot of questions asked about them. So 48 inch Toro Grandstand, I've only had one issue out of this mower and it was literally the uh, one of the plugs or one of the, uh, I can't think of the name of it, but there's a plug back here that controls the wiring or whatever and it ended up coming loose and when it came loose the mower wouldn't start or anything and the dealership literally had it fixed within five minutes so they pushed it down and boom we were back up and running that's the only issue i've had with this mower it has been a great uh, piece of equipment and you know I, i'd recommend toro to anybody regardless uh, I, I love my toro equipment it, Pretty much when I was demoing everything in my specific area personally, uh, when it came to uh, the dealer support and the warranty was a huge factor. The five year, 1200 hour warranty I got with these mowers was unbeatable, plus the dealer support was unbeatable. So uh, this is what I went with. And it was honestly probably the best cutting mower that I touched. So. I ended up buying one and then it turned into buying another so here they are uh so we've got lanier 10 uh for discounts on just about any of this stuff uh, like i said we'll go over this at the end and uh close to the end anyway and then you know tell you some more so then we've got let's turn the camera here all right now we got the z master 3000 series absolutely love this mower uh I've got some bigger properties. That's when I ended up pulling the trigger on this because I really didn't know if I wanted to be standing on a 60 inch for uh, an hour. So I ended up buying a sit down. And with the My Ride system, I absolutely do honestly love this mower as well. We've got the twills on it. These are 24-12-12s. Uh, we've got the quick shoot, which I absolutely do love the quick shoot. The thing I like about the quick shoot on a set down is it, the handle was completely adjustable for me to put closer or farther away, uh, but it required no drilling of any sorts whatsoever. So that was another good thing that I looked for when uh, I bought the quick shoot for this was I didn't have to drill any holes in order to do it. Now I know for the stand-ons, they make them a little bit bigger, but when I'm on the stand-on, uh, I find it easier to use the power shoot because I can literally just, I say literally a lot, <clears throat> because I can 
just grab the toggle switch and open and shut it uh, as I'm going and mowing to where with this, when I'm sitting down, it's right there beside me. I've got both handles right there and it's easier to control. Uh, for me personally, it's easier to control a sit down with one hand than it is the stand on trying to hold up the thing and uh, have your, you know, your palm uh, against both of the controls. So let's, uh, we got yard signs. Man, we got so much stuff going on this year. It's, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be absolutely great. Super excited for the season to get started. We got lots of rain coming in. It's supposed to hopefully be warming up. More rain coming in this week, but season's here and uh, we'll get going. So, all right, uh, quick shoot. I do not have a code for. We've got a code for the Darwin's Grip. You can go to their personal website, use code Lanier10. That's all capital on their website uh, and you get 10% off. I do receive a kickback for that. <clears throat> the Power Shoot Lanier 10, um, I'm not sure. If, I think that's just lowercase, but I do not receive a kickback for, for any of that whatsoever. Uh, equipment defender, trimmer, blower racks, things of that nature that I use for my trailer racks. You can go check them out. Uh, code is just Lanier, L-A-N-I-E-R. There is no 10 after it whatsoever. It is just code Lanier and you can save 10% off on your uh, trailer racks as well. Now I do receive once again, a small kickback from that. So uh, we've got Cujo Yardware shoes. I've got my Cujos over here. Uh, Lanier 10 will save you 10% off at Cujo Yardware's website. So if you're looking for some yard shoes, I did do a review about them. Please go check that out. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I was 290 pounds when I got these shoes and these are very comfortable shoes, I have to say. Uh, will your feet get wet? Well, if there's heavy dew, then you know, once again, yes, your feet's gonna get wet. They are not waterproof. They are water resistant to an extent, once again, Go feel free to watch the uh, my review video on the Cujos. They came out with the boots, and now the boots are out. So I'm excited to put them to use this year. See what my thoughts and opinions are on them. And uh, but hey, there's plenty of stuff there. So we've got uh, <coughs> we got Cujo, we got Darwin's Grip, we got Power Shoot, uh, we've got the uh, uh, Equipment Defender, we've got. Uh, Big League Lawns, the stripe kit, the stripe roller um, that I use on my 48 inch. Uh, do you need it? No, it makes the stripes way more defined though. And I find that over the winter time, my stripes are still there all winter and they're still deep and nice. Uh, but you can use code Lanier Lawn Care for that uh, and get 10% off of your order on that. Then I've got a couple more discount codes. We'll go into them uh, a little later. I've got a CRM that I've been using for the past uh, year, a little over a year, that I've absolutely fell in love with. So I'll tell y'all about that in a separate video uh, and how y'all, how, uh, how I keep track of everything and such of that nature. So uh, let's go to the pretty much the ending of this video and tell y'all the good news that I'm sure you've been waiting for. All right, so big, huge, exciting news. Coming to the channel, uh, a lot of people asked for it last year and I put it off, put it off, put it off. So anyway, this year we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna do it. Uh, it. It really just was something I had to think about a lot of. I had so many people ask me about it and then I started asking for a little bit of help to get all this rolling. And uh, we had a lot, of, a lot of people that were willing to help. So I figured it was definitely something that was um, meant to be and people wanted so we're going to jump on the boat as well and this is Lanier on Air Lanier on Air if you want to start a lawn care and landscape business or already own one and want to take and it to I would like to introduce you to Lanier on Air uh, this is going to be the new podcast it is going to be called Lanier on Air and we're going to go into so much stuff uh, we're going to talk to big channels. We're going to talk to small channels. We're going to talk to people that don't even have channels. 
everybody has something that I believe that could help somebody out. Regardless, we're going to go into different industries. We're going to go into power washing. We're going to go into window washing. We're going to go into landscape, lawn care, hardscape. We're going to do it all. We're going to give it to you. We're going to let you listen to advice from bigger people, from smaller people, because I believe everybody has something to offer, regardless of uh, what point they are in their business. You could be the first year in business. There's always something that people have learned from their mistakes. And maybe that's not mistakes any of us have learned. Maybe, maybe we have. But uh, I believe everybody's got some kind of support that they could throw out there and help somebody with. So uh, without further ado, once again, I would like to introduce you to Lanier On Air. Coming soon, uh, hopefully within the next week or two, we will have this out and launched and I will keep you updated on that. But huge news, very excited about it. So uh, guys, that's gonna do it for the 2021 setup video, the big reveal and hey, Smash that like button, uh, subscribe if you haven't, and we will see you. Uh, I'll say we like there's more than me. Uh, I will see you soon, so y'all stay tuned. I I'm super stoked, super excited for this year. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'm out.